Yo, what's going on guys? In today, I wanted to talk about the game. Yes, I know the Lakers lost. But hey, let's talk about some four takeaways. The players that stood out. And before we continue this video, I would love to hear your opinions down below. But besides that, let's get right into today's video and let's talk about the guys. Okay, Austin Reeves is a beast. Okay, I don't think anybody should say anything else. Wayne Ellington can still shoot it. Malik Monk is the microwave. But Austin Reeves, I was enjoying watching him. Yeah, I know he didn't score much or do anything. But I think Austin Reeves could be a good player. Maybe I'm biased because I saw him at OU. And then I also saw him at Wichita State. But Shawnee Brown is an athlete. But let's just talk about the players that stood up. Taylor Horn Tucker looked so assertive. Okay. And he was leading the game with Davis with six points. You know, he was just out there doing his thing. And I thought that was fun. Okay. He had a monstrous dunk through the first quarter. And then Malik Monk came in with the second unit and showed that he literally is that microwave. All right. Coming in, shooting, hitting four of his first six shots with 10 quick points. He played 21 minutes and finished with 15, three of five from the perimeter. Okay. He had three three pointers and out of five attempts. And with Dwight Howard only playing 13 minutes, he looked like exactly who they were missing last year. He was what they were missing. His ability to own the paint and give other teams a headache on a base daily basis is what they need. Dwight Howard, you know, I was so fortunate that my first year ever watching NBA basketball, I lived in the suburbs of Orlando and Lake Marin. And my mom, like it was before I moved to Maryland, my mom was like working in Maryland and we we're like in the process of moving and my dad would have me come into his room every night and we turn on the TV and watch the, the NBA playoffs. And we saw Dwight Howard take the Orlando Magics and he would literally do this game. I was just, I got like kind of a flashback when I was watching that game. Dwight Howard was in the paint and I think it was like three rebounds in a row he got and he missed all the putbacks, whatever. But he almost got the fourth rebound. And he was doing that thing where he's just hitting the ball up and it's like he's playing like keep away with everyone he's just getting it and i know like he's he's just this guy i love him and i just love that dwight's having fun again because it seemed for the longest time that dwight wasn't having fun until he went back to la then anthony davis he re-entered the game and we saw him play in the first quarter at the five mark position it was kind of it was kind of nice it was kind of nice i really did enjoy seeing him play five and i think it's going to be really good now let's talk about the g leaders rookie austin reeves came in and around the start of the second quarter and then we saw a lot of joel yaya who i think out of joel yaya shawnee brown austin reeves cameron oliver and matt mcclung i think joel yaya is the most likely to actually get some minutes on this lakers team this season due to the fact that he's he played on uh team that made it to the nba not the nba the call march madness final and he i know he's not a finished product but he's a guy who could develop into 3d wing and play but basically this g league squad of cameron oliver matt mcclung joel yaya and cameron not cameron and austin reeves was outscored 24 to 2 in the first six minutes of the fourth quarter and it was kind of funny because david kakok the former Lakers champ was suited up for the Brooklyn Nets on the other side of the basketball court. So when I think of this, who do I think of the young guys is actually going to make the team for the Lakers? Also, DeAndre Jordan didn't look like a bum out there. Kendrick Nunn looked pretty solid. Kemp Bazemore looked solid. You know, like I said, Dwight Howard was solid. Wayne Ellington was solid. Like Munch. Really, when you look at this, Rondo, they didn't do much. But when I look at this team, mm, the G League squad is Austin Reeves, Joel Ayaya. Shondi Brown, Trevlin Queen, and Cameron Oliver. That's five guys right there, and they can only keep three, okay? They can only keep three, and that's where I think it gets interesting because you don't know who they're going to want to keep. I don't know, man. Out of those guys, am I, I'm going, if they can keep three, I'm going Austin Reeves, Joel Ayaya, and I guess maybe Sean D. Brown, because he's really athletic. There was a multiple times where I saw Sean D. Brown going for a rebound or just jumping up. And I was like, damn, Sean D. Sean D., man. He just jumped a lot. And then, But Trevlin McQueen is an interesting guy because, so, 
Trevor McQueen. He's actually from Glen Burnie, Maryland, and which is actually like near near me. And look, he really was a decent player, and he was a guy who worked his way up, and he's like really, really tried to work his way up. You know, going from the College of Marin to New Mexico military to New Mexico State. And he's really gotten his way here. And he was one of the top defenders in college. And, he, you know, he averaged 10 points, 2.3 rebounds, 1.2 assists, and 1.2 steals per game while in the G League last year. I don't think anything from him. I really think it's going to be jo- Joel Ayaya, Austin Reeves. Either Matt McClung or Shondi Brown. Maybe Mac McClung because, like, he's better. But I still think it's just going to be hard. But, yeah, let me hear your thoughts down below, guys. That's basically it for me. But, please. Oh.